up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ryan Roundtree, also known as Tree the Creator. And today, today has been a long, a long time coming. I will be launching or producing and involved in two different podcasts. Um, one first being League of Extraordinary Men. Uh, I'm still playing around with the name as of right now, uh, but the premise behind this podcast is for men. It's for men to to grow, to learn, to share um, thoughts and ideas and realms. Of manhood, around manhood, family, fitness, finances, and just really trying to one share the knowledge in which we have, uh, but be able to grow and to create a community of men that are determined to grow the communities that are determined to to build that are determined to just be great men for our wives for our kids for our friends and then later on uh, this afternoon I'm going to be launching brand hustlers with Ashanti Trent. Brand hustlers. They both gonna be fire, but brand hustlers, I get excited. I'm excited about brand in the market. I'm excited about being a great man as well, but <clears throat> I'm super passionate about helping other people to not only launch to, to grow their to, to, to grow their businesses, but to launch it and to present it and to present it in a way that makes them stand out amongst nah, I don't even want to say competitors because I don't I don't think in the realm of competition but just to look like a rock star who doesn't want to you know flourish in their in their realm of expertise who doesn't want to be able to help people with what it is that they enjoy doing so I'm so excited about both the League of Extraordinary Men uh, with Tony Wagner and Brand Hustlers and Brand Hustlers with Ashante Trent. So today is going to be fire. Today is going to be awesome. Today is already extraordinary. So to it and enjoy me 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 <clears throat> ah. no a deer a female deer ray a drop of golden sun me a name I call myself far a long, long way to run, so I need a pulling thread. La, the note that follows so tea I drank with jam and bread, and they'll bring us back to do, 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 do. A deer, a female deer, Ray, a drop of golden sun, me. A name I call myself 
far A long, long way to run So I need a pulling thread La, the note that follows so Tea, I drink with the jam and bread And that brings us back to Do, 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 do Yes, yes, yes Unique New York how noun brown cow. I'm from Baltimore. <laughs> Aaron earned an iron urn. Aaron earned an iron urn. I don't know what I can do to work on my tubes. So nobody can tell me what it's like what it's supposed to sound like. Like I asked my wife, how am I supposed to say it? How am I supposed to say it? Say it. My navigation says two. That don't that don't even make sense. That don't that makes absolutely no sense. None at all. Two. 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 Which one? Two. 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 That don't that don't even feel right. That's 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 that can't be right. My vocal warm ups. Working on my original diction, as always. Pronunciation. Pausing, thinking, without saying, um, um, I think my filler words. I have definitely cut. I've definitely cut back on my filler words, but I have started to replace them. I've noticed that sometimes I replace them with and. So I am going to continue to work on removing the filler words. Even so, even with so, I'm gonna remove all words that do not need to be included. Yeah. So, I am headed into. <laughs> I just said so again. Getting into Washington DC. Shoot this first podcast with Tony Wagner. Tony Wagner is the sales whisperer. He teaches entrepreneurs and businesses, corporations, the mindset of selling. So my grandmother passed. somewhat prepared myself for this for this time being a firefighter I see I run cardiac arrests DOAs all the time and the only the only thing in this It just kind of replays in my head is how did it happen? Not necessarily how did it happen, but what transpired leading up to was she sleep? Did she have a surprise thought of like an oh my god? nurse, when a nurse found her, she was still warm, 
did she just did she just pass out? When EMS, when firefighters and the emergency crew arrived and they started to work her, did she did they get Ross? Did she What were her what, what, what were the readings on the monitor? How did how much epi did they give her? Like it's like the things that I go through on a regular basis as far as performing emergency surgeries just plays out in my head. And I know for, for myself, running certain calls, and let's say a, uh, someone we go to visit frequently or take to the hospital, not, not even frequently, they have taken to the, ho taken to the hospital before, and someone built a rapport with that person. What exactly? This is what are the firefighters feeling? Um, the emergency crew that I know have, may have run her before. Um, I know for us, you know, sometimes we get back to the station, we have to run a call where we we run this person before, and you know, it's like, well, damn, you know, we probably not gonna be running, we're not going to be running running there anymore, not running, running that, running her anymore, because she passed away, so, so I'm curious to know, and not, not, I'm not even curious to know, it's, I just, it just plays in my head, it just plays in my head, and it's the only thing that kind of haunts me, so to say. But other than that, I'm actually, I'm, I'm great. I am, I'm okay with, with her passing. Like I said, I somewhat prepared myself, knowing, you know, she's she's been through a number of things medically in the past, past few years. And even knowing that she, I mean, she was still, Going, going out talking with her friends that she stayed at and enjoying herself, still doing things, still cooking, still cleaning, still like doing for herself as much as she could. She would not just roll over and die. And I am so happy that she she did not allow herself to go out or like that or start to feel bad for herself when she was having to rehab multiple times uh, in the past few years uh, she was just not you know, like I said, to roll over and die so and for that Like, no. 
and she's you know and opinionated you know what I mean even may not necessarily agree on everything but she stood by her her opinion so I'm definitely gonna you know miss the conversations telling her you know things that are happening How I'm, how I'm growing, how my, how my family's growing, how the, the kids are, you know, improving, and even, you know, it's, there was a time, of course, like I said, she's a, she was very, she's very opinionated. Tell you don't, don't be stupid, <laughs> don't, don't be dumb. You know, out here, you know, these these little hussies. You know, she she definitely she kept it real. Yep, but again, I'm grateful. She lives through me, in me, <clears throat> and even taking on some of her personality. Like, I really appreciate. thought process, you know, looking to just be bold in my pursuits, not being afraid to say what I think and I feel, um, being straight up honest, and that's, that's what it takes, that's what it takes to communicate clearly how you feel without, without feeling bad about not necessarily make somebody else feel bad, but you gotta be, you have to, you gotta be real, you have to be honest in order to survive, in order to, in order not to be a pushover, in order for businesses to grow, in order for relationships to grow, you have to. have to be willing to communicate your honest thoughts. So I'm grateful and that's going to live in me every day. So let's get to this podcast. Let's get this day rolling. Wagner, one on one, brother. Much I'm extraordinary, man. Good, good, yes, sir. Look good, good, man.
that'll be great. Being a father, like coming out of what you know, our ancestors have come out and coming out of slavery, whatever, like they didn't know how to be a father. You know, it's like literally like they went out, they did the work and they came back and they went out and they did the work. And then, you know, slavery was abolished and then it's like, okay, now I'm be a good father. All right. What's that? Like so now it's up to us to actually make those things happen. So what I'm preparing my daughter now is I impart and have been imparting wisdom in my daughter since she was like a baby. Talking about what real estate is, what stocks are, taking pieces of paper and ripping it up and say this is a share of stock. Just under giving her an understanding, not knowing what it's going to turn into, but doing the things that I wish I had somebody do. For me as a kid, doing those things now. I had a conversation at the barbershop the other day and you're talking about how these kids out here are just shells. I mean, they really don't have personalities. Like, they're really just kind of, they're just kind of out here. They don't want to listen. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. I'm like, you got to take some accountability for that. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, right now, I know for us, it's easy to 
hand them a tablet, you know? Right. None of them, we talked about, oh, none of them know how to like chuck wood or, you know, cut wood or do this or do that. Like, well, are you taking them out to do those things? Are you taking them out camping? Are you right. uh, teaching them how to, you know, create a fire without, right. without matches, you know? Like, right. are you teaching them those things? Right. Like, it's not up to them. They, they came here a shell. They came here a shell. Sure. It's for you to impart in them qualities, to impart in them skills, to impart in them personality. I used to think that being tough was taking on everything and not letting it phase me. I'm built for it tough. I, I can handle it. And you know, that has an expiration date. You can take on a lot for a certain amount of time, but there's a different level of tough. And that different level is being vulnerable. So I actually had to call all of my friends that I was super duper tough with and tell them I apologize because I understood that I was trying to hold them to a standard, this false standard that I created in my mind, and I wasn't being true to myself and being vulnerable with myself. So the true definition of power and strength is vulnerability. You don't get a degree and become a leader. There's, there's no academic mm -hmm. a connection to, to being a leader. You have to be put in positions where you have to lead. And then we have to assess how did you do. You know, everybody want to be the general in, in, in the military. But then when it's time for war, somebody got to make that decision. It might be some casualties. Everybody want to be have the rank, but they don't want the responsibility. When I was living in my car for nine months, but I felt like I did something to put me in that situation. So I need to do something to get myself out of the situation. So am I better than a lot of people? Yeah, because of the choices I made to do it the hard way and not take the easy route. What, who are we attracting? We're attracting people who are going up. Because if we are not like each other mentally, then I, I don't want to be around you. If you come in this circle, you have to be vulnerable. You have to be willing to be held accountable. You have to be self-aware. If you are not willing to do those things, that's cool. Stay over there. Because we are not here to convince you to be better. We are here to help each other get to the next level. When I walk in a room, I don't want to feel like, I look like everybody else. When I walk in a room, I want you to feel me whether you saw me or not. Because my energy is pushing on. I'm a little bit extra. If if somebody sitting you know, just <laughs> walking like Prince. <laughs> they got a war around them. <laughs> right, right. It's so old glow. <laughs> What's that show now? But, <laughs> right. no, but, but the objective is to be the best version of yourself. And that's not gonna look ordinary. What do, you, what do you call black excellence? It's a mindset. I'm gonna make sure my shoes tied, I'm gonna make sure my, my clothes clean, I'm gonna make sure that I treat people with respect, I'm gonna hold the door for the lady, I'm, I'm gonna look out for the old lady with the groceries. I'm just gonna live an extraordinary life. And it's the decision and the mindset. And that's what we are attracting. That's what we are speaking to. That's the objective of us coming together and bringing other people into this fold is to just be a little bit extra. I truly believe that there is more good than bad in the world. Unfortunately, most of the bad is what we see, what we are made notice of, what's in the news, what's on our phones. And I just truly believe that there's an opportunity for like-minded men and like-minded people to get together and really change the world in a sense. I mean, for lack of better words, change the world. And we, we do that by changing ourselves, changing our households, changing our communities. That's a wrap. Heading out. Great episode one. The League of Extraordinary Men. Oh, and like I said, just kind of make this a science of yeah. you know, the equipment and mapping out when we can do this again. <laughs> Go back and forth, you know, that shit. I'm not saying, 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 I'
Yeah, I think I should be able to get it all in, in the one box, what I'm going to use, so. Trying to see where you are. Awesome first podcast with Mr. Tony Wagner. Bro, I'm excited. I'm excited for for that to drop. I'm so excited to put that out there. And if it's out already, you can check that out by hitting this link right here. Um yeah, that was some fire. That was some fire. And all we all we talked about was what the podcast is going to be about. The vision, where we see it going. Well, we didn't get too deep into where we see it going, but we did talk about what it is that we want the podcast to be about, who we want it to benefit and affect. And ultimately, that it's a good, it's a it's a great idea uh, to cultivate a league, a group of like-minded individuals, people that individuals, not even just people, but men that want to hold themselves accountable, that want to grow, uh, that want to improve their communities, improve their family dynamic, just improve as human beings. So I'm excited. Again, that, that was fire. <laughs> that was fire. I know I have, I have a lot of conversations with people on a regular basis and that was chemistry you can't teach chemistry some things are just natural that conversation was natural like there was no like we really weren't cutting each other off bumping heads um, as far as the flow as far as the ideas kept the ball rolling, piggybacked off of each other's thoughts, had something to talk about, you know, so I'm excited to see where it goes, I'm excited for the collaboration on the topic ideas, I'm excited, I'm excited to just, I'm excited to, to do this thing, hopefully we can get, get it on a regular regular basis like weekly as far as like meetups but even in this whole deal my my goal is also to share with you the process um into you know maybe creating your own podcast um, i know that we will plan to do some batch creating um, batch creating is simply recording multiple episodes or different you know topics of discussion in one sitting you know because there will be times where you know we're not able to meet up or link up every week to make sure that we you know to make sure that we get relevant we may not be able to meet up link up every week because we, we both have you know obligations um, and then there may be times where we may have to do a pop-up segment based on what's going on in society what's going on in our communities and we gotta put out something quick fast in the hurry so yeah man I am I'm excited again that was fire that was fire uh, now I'm headed to link up with 
Miss Shashante Trent. And we're going to record our first episode of The Brand Hustlers. Stay tuned. I'm now headed to link up with Miss Ashante Trent. I'm going to record our first episode of The Brand Hustlers. So now it's time to get out of this, this DC traffic. and get this first episode recorded. Stay tuned.
that we will be diving into. Extend the arm if you don't want it right there. I wanted to move it out my face a little bit. Mm. Um, I do that. So yeah, there's a little knob there. That's good right here. As long as you can still hear me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's a long time coming. It's a oh, long time coming. No, we haven't. I mean, not that long. Not really. But <laughs> hey, you know, we've been kind of talking about this for a minute. So yeah, but it's go time. So. I'm gonna sit this way. Let me get myself comfortable. Cause then I, cause I can't see you. <laughs> but then are they gonna be looking at the side of my head the whole time though? I mean, it is a lovely design. Shannon would be happy. <laughs> so let's um, possibly move the mic back. And you blend. You blend into the background. No, mm -hmm. I'm not really. What the heck? Cause you're not bright white like me. Oh, you talking? <laughs> You need some, you don't be black. You need some, some light. <laughs> you, need, you need some light on you. <laughs> uh, she called me black. You said move it back. Okay, right here. Um, I'd say more that way. Right here. Right here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yep. Okay. So this one, at least that camera gets a good shot of your face. Okay, gotcha. All right. All right. So. You what got up? No agenda. What up? I do have an agenda. What's the agenda? I do have an agenda. What's the agenda, Ryan? Today's agenda is introducing the brand hustlers. That's right. today's agenda. That's okay. if we don't get nothing else done. That's no. all I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to tell me I ain't got no yeah, agenda. Got, he's a procrastinator. <laughs> <laughs> we all struggle with that from mm. time to time. So, mm. well, um, do you want to attempt this intro, or you just want to talk? We can we can we can attempt the intro. Okay. We can attempt the intro. It just says episode brand hustlers where we dive deep into branding, marketing, and sales for entrepreneurs. So, what up? What up? What up? It's your boy Ryan Roundtree, 
also known as Tree the Creator. And we're here with a good friend, Ashante Trent. And we are the Brand Hustlers. And the Brand Hustlers in which <laughs> we dive deep into brand and marketing. <laughs> That's a horrible intro. <laughs> That's a horrible intro. <laughs> mm. So you want to try it? Go ahead. You go ahead and try it. Um, okay. <laughs> Let me turn into my other person. Welcome to another. <laughs> I saw that. Welcome to another episode. No, welcome to the first episode of Brand Hustlers, where we dive deep into branding, marketing, and sales for entrepreneurs. It's too much. It's too much to learn. Like, and for you to be a beast in a particular sector, like you, you almost have to like really focus in yeah. on a particular. A particular niche. Yeah. In today's age, you have to catch people's eyes. You also have to catch their ear. They have to buy into your brand. Like, what is the message? I think the brand message, like, really helping people to get their, it's helping businesses to get their message out. There. And it has to be done in a creative way, especially moving in this generation of AI. Like, how are you going to stick out? So, AI can't replace everything. AI cannot replace personality. And though, you know, we have this chat GPT for it and answer the questions. But like, even like what you said, like, it has to have a human touch. You know, there's certain things that have to have a human touch to it in order for it to not make sense, but for it to, to, to touch. For, <laughs> to touch I mean, yeah, to touch so for you, it to maybe. resonate with the audience. Right. I want to own my own time. That yeah, has always, absolutely. like, that has always been my agenda. And I don't feel like you can own your own time if you're going to go work for someone. And then when you go work for someone else, me personally, I feel like I'm working really hard to make them rich. And that doesn't make any sense. Those are my brain powers. Brain hustlers, again, <laughs> is for me. Those of you that are trying to transition out of the nine to five, yeah. working for somebody else and create a living for yourself yeah. and your family. Just not be restricted by anyone else, society, corporate America, whatever that may be. Like. My biggest dreams and aspiration is to be free. I want to be <laughs> How did you get there? How did you do it? You know, et cetera. And so, like, I would say start. Start where you're at. There's someone that doesn't know what you know because they're at a different level or different point in their business than you are. I think that's crucial and vital to understand. So when you say always be learning, because I was in a I was in a meeting with JT Fox, billionaire, right? I'm on a Zoom call and I'm like, mm, I need to I need to be in this environment at all times, right? Like just imagine like what it took to get there. That's where I'm trying to aspire to be. And so if you have someone who is literally just starting off just getting new into the game, that messaging that you may give to them is going to be a little bit different. So I think that is definitely important to always be open and to learning. I mean, literally, I think you need to be obsessed yeah. with learning at this point. We decided to create Brand Hustlers because ultimately, for me, if you are starting a business, you are your brand. Everything about your business needs to scream you, what you do, why you do it, and how you're able to service your actual community. So it doesn't matter what type of business that you have. As far as I'm concerned, the fundamentals are the same. You have to get a message out there to your audience so they can purchase the service or the product that you are offering. Because at the end of the day, one of the main things that I've learned in all of the businesses that I've run up until this point is branding is critical. Marketing is critical. They're both so, so vital to a business. Because if you have, you can have a dope business, product, service, venture, whatever it is that you have. If you don't brand it right, and you don't market it right. No one knows it exists, and ultimately you don't have a business. Because what happens is, you know, you're going into a new place, a new sector. These are make or break moments. It could be one of those things where you go in and you are so already self-conscious as to how people are going to see. Yeah. The real question is, how do you want to be remembered? What impression do you want to leave on people? 
and what you actually do, what you actually stand for, what you actually present is what they'll remember. But you have to be bold. You have to be shameless in your actions. I'm fine, I'm energetic, but if you're shy or timid and you're not really putting your personality out there, you're not really leaving in the pressure. Yeah. For me, I always just feel like it's easier if you are your brand. Right. If you are a fun, over-the-top person, don't try to go into the executive world stuff. You're not going to like it. It's not going to come off authentic. Like, I'm real big that you are your brand. So you need to insert yourself in there because you're offering a service that no one else can offer or a product that no one else can offer. It is the best because of you. I'm a big fan of paying for it. Probably one of my movies. Everybody, like, there's enough out here for everybody. I'm not no in the realm of competing with anybody. Like you said before, the people that will resonate with you and they will ride with you and they will pay for your service and they won't go to anybody else. But even if they do go to somebody else, they will, there will be other people that will resonate with you, will resonate with your message, will resonate with your brand, and they will only patronize with your service. So, <clears throat> awesome first Brand Hustlers episode. Shout out to Trent. Really looking forward to really, really diving into this thing. Um, not necessarily to just to share the knowledge in which I've gained over these years, but also to learn. We plan on bringing on. various speakers in the sectors of sales, branding, marketing, tech, and being able to utilize these, these various disciplines uh, to create strong, reputable, dependable brands that will stand the test of time, will we'll grow the legacies of our families, um, and also just, yeah, just, just, just to build impactful brands, and not just out here selling products, services, but to really connect with the people we're servicing, the people that we're serving, people that we're providing products for. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to growing this community. I'm looking forward to the various branches that will stem from this. I'm just looking forward. I'm looking forward to thriving in this space. So and if this comes out with the link for that it's right here hopefully um, it's out by now <laughs> and I'm not in drag have it drag my feet on it um, but go ahead and check that out awesome awesome segment with Mr. Shante Trent now I got to get ready for this spring concert my twin girls final spring concert of elementary school.